Now we got Michael Serrano returning to the cage. He was here last time at Cage Wars 53, suffered a tough loss to Jake Cifantes, who is up next. So we know that he is going to have something to prove. His teammate, Alex Graff, came out and had a dominating win over Jason Snelly, the first fight of the night. So he's got that yep. energy, that springboard. Yeah. I'm expecting a lot out of this young man right now. Again, Team Legacy out of Connecticut. Now, that being said, he is fighting Brendan Anderson out of Lions Den MMA with Coach Fingala and one of our next competitors a few fights down, El Shaddai Van Hosen. Everybody that competes and fights out of that gym is ready. They don't send somebody in unless they are qualified to compete and represent that gym. So I expect this to be a really good fight. Well, I can't wait for this one. And you mentioned El Shaddai Van Hosen, who will become a storyline probably a little bit later on in the evening as there were some situations that happened yesterday during during the way in. During the way in, and there's some backstory to this, yeah. man. This could really end up being a really exciting story. I hope, I hope you're right. <laughs> I like, I, I'm all about a, a good backstory. I just think that adds to the level of excitement. And if you have two guys in our next fight, not this one right now, but that genuinely may not like each other, I mean, that's a storylines are, are good. It's like Mothra versus Godzilla. Let's go. Here we go, Brendan Anderson making his way to the ring. Okay. This young man seemed very confident at weigh-ins last night. And how are you? And what are you? What are you looking at? How, how are you assessing somebody's confidence at weigh-in? Oh, their breathing respirations. You know, are their pupils dilated? Are they looking around the room all at everybody kind of frantically? You know, what is their energy? Everybody gives off a, a vibration or an energy, yeah. and it's easy to tell where they are mentally. You can see if somebody's um, locked in. You can see if yes. somebody's. You can see if somebody's trying too hard, perhaps. Too, yes. Right? And, and I'll tell you what. All the athletes last night. I don't. I can't say I saw anybody that was a deer in the headlights. Years past, you'd always find one, two, three competitors that really probably shouldn't be there. You know, and, and they're mentally just not ready. Well, I've noticed that too. I mean, you take a look at these records. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falva. We'll come back to that. Yep. The upcoming fight on the card for Cage Wars 54 is at 155 pounds and scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday at 155.4 pounds. Representing Team Legacy out of South Windsor, Connecticut, Michael Curly Serrano. His opponent fighting across the cage out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 153 pounds, representing Lion's Den Martial Arts out of East Greenbush, New York, Brendan Anderson. The man in charge of the action when that door closes, Mr. Dan Mergliata. Serrano, Anderson. Big Dan getting ready to get it started. You know, at the Lions then Coach Fingala, both his boys are wrestlers out of Buffalo. Wrestling is a big part of their of their game plan, but they're also really adept at striking as well. So, you know, I expect a, a tough guy to, to fight another tough guy in Serrano, and Serrano really wants to, to get that win back from this last card. Serrano, nice and composed. Ooh. Oh, nice right hand oh, by Brandon. Bomb. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to take too many of those from Michael Serrano. Well, as you can see, he he quickly decided to get to get in a clinch, which was very wise. Now, but what can he do with this clinch? He's got the double unders, but Anderson's doing a nice job maintaining his position, not yeah. allowing the takedown. Anderson looks strong, doesn't he? He does, and double unders is a very dominant position that Serrano has. Anderson Anderson's doing strong. a good job trying to get around the corner. Good leverage. Sturdy. I mean, really, you know, he's he, he's having a tough time fighting him for those underhooks, but Serrano still can't take him down at this point. Serrano's trying to get behind him. Ooh. Oh, he grabbed the cage. Did Big Dan saw that? He smacked him on the back. Who gra I didn't see it. Who grabbed what? Uh, Anderson grabbed okay. the cage. Dan smacked him on the back. In other words, you do that again, it's a point. When a referee gives you a hard warning like that, next time it's a point. Now, you know, I'm watching this again, layman perspective. You know what, what's happening here. This, to me, looks like just a ton of wasted an an energy by Serrano. And he's going again, but Anderson has a very sturdy base. It's, he, it's he's a not lot, taking him down It's here. a lot of energy, but you got to think, what what made him change that pattern 
that he had, well, that he, hard strike. Yeah, he got hit with a shot. So I don't think he necessarily wanted to do this. His original game plan was more to be on the feet and throw some strikes, but after that hard right hand, that's enough to interrupt your pattern of behavior. Yeah, I think instinctually his, <laughs> his, his body told him to get in there and don't be at distance. Serrano doing a good job turning the corner, but he still can't bring it all the way to the ground. Anderson digs for that right underhook. Serrano fights the hands, goes for that left leg. I mean, and there's nothing, well, those are some pretty big shots. So wow. Anderson is a wow. big, strong guy. I mean, he's able to create some leverage there, too, he in is. a tight spot. Those are power I mean, shots. Already got red marks on the side of Serrano's left side just from those punches. If you're Anderson, you're com perfectly content just going to work. He is just excellent. ripping. Excellent. Oh, you can't do that. that excellent a balance. Oh, that, that's a warning. That was the top of the head. head. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he's got that. I think he's saying that's a second warning. One point. All, All right, Dan giving him that position back. And he did take away the point. Taking away the point. Okay. You know, and again, for those folks at home that, you know, might scoff at that or how can they do that, like when you're live in a fight with another human being, things happen. And there should be consequences yes, for your but I just so, mean, you Oh, know, without a doubt. It's, it's not hard, malicious, but yeah, it's it still should be judged. Yeah, it's hard not to do these things. Absolutely. You know? But it needs to be judged. Those are just big. It is. Oh, nice nice job big. by Anderson. Wow. And he, and he shows enough restraint to stop. This might be it for Th Serrano. That, that is it. I mean, Serrano's done. He hasn't defended but Serrano himself. drops to the knee, so he can't punch him in the head. Now he gets back up. Well, I... I mean, he's got to be coming up on the end of this round here soon. Anderson softened him right up. He might be able to nice put him in knee. a choke. Wow. Good round. So that's a weird round. I mean, he had the point taken away. Can you? So that would really be a 9-9? A 9-9. A, a I think Serrano's done. I, I think Serrano's out of it. It looked like he almost didn't make it on the stool. I don't know if anybody. I, I agree. I, his coach is, is kind of giving him a, a pep talk. And and it was the shot to the head where it looked like, and, and that might be what we have here. Oh, we're seeing a shot here on the. Coach Fingala giving his fighter instructions. Strong young man. Really tough guy. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Serrano answer the bell in round two. I don't know that. Oh, no, he's going to answer he, it. He looked a little uneasy, though. He's going to answer the bell. All right. Yeah, he's, they're, they're, they're going to get the doctor right now. He's out of it. I don't think oh, I, Big I Dan's checking on him. Out. Yeah, I don't think. Uh-oh. You might be right here, Brian. But the thing is, though, it, it could be as a result of the shot to the top of the head, and if that's the uh, case, then yeah. it's a no contest. Yeah, so I, I saw that coming. Good call, Brian Cody. Okay. Now, but they're, they're, they're saying he won, but like you said, eh, this but might be a draw. Technical he, draw. Well, or, well uh, you don't, can you go? Do you, if you you can't go to the judges, I don't know what the rules are. But if they go to the, the judges, round, so you can't go to the judges. I, I think it's a draw. That's right. Because if they judge it nine nine, you're right. Which to me doesn't seem. Fit, but no, but not if he can't. So if he can't continue, it's just a no contest, right? Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, it should be a no contest. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, that's the past fight. That's Kenny Correa Sebi fight. So I, I want you to see it right before he deducted the. The, the point, it was the shot to the head that Serrano looked, he was woozy, like he was wobbled. Now, he could have been playing it off because he knew it was an illegal shot to the head, but it carried over in between rounds. He could not get down in the stool. I don't know if we have that. It's neither here nor there. We know we know what happened. Now we're just waiting. It's going to be interesting to see what the official, uh, what the official judgment is here. It feels like a no contest. Yep. Here we go. Punch okay, in the body. You'll see Serrano's going to go to the knee at some point. Oh. That's okay. Uh, we'll get there. So Serrano's going to go to the knee. You're going to see him punch in the head. Those are big, big, big shots. And at, at this point, he kind of turns up. All right, we're going to go up to the ring for the final announcement. So. How about a round of applause for these two great fighters, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Referee Dan Merglietta has called a stop to the fight after, after the second round, after Michael Serrano could not answer the bell in between rounds. For your winner, Brendan Anderson. All right, so they give it to him.
I mean, I think it's at least a worthwhile discussion 